When you purchase your DAC board CPU V5, or in my case, V4, you'll see the CPU comes with an HDMI to HDMI micro cable and power cable. To use this for touchscreen, you will need an additional cable. This is a USB-A to USB-B cable. Most touchscreens will come with this accessory included. I first connect my cables that came with the CPU. For connecting the touchscreen cable, you'll see four USB ports. The USB-A connector will work on any of these, but we recommend using the 2.0 ports as they seem to perform best. They are the ports in black. Connect the USB-B connector into the back of your touchscreen monitor. Plug in the power cable to your touchscreen to get started. Connect your HDMI and power on the CPU, then allow a few minutes for it to load to the network configuration screen. To simplify the network setup process, you can skip scanning the QR codes and tap the bottom of the screen where it says touch screen on device setup. This takes you to the network settings configuration page. Here, you'll update the Wi-Fi name and password information to your home or office wireless network. Use this time to also set your time zone, screen orientation, and resolution settings of your display, then click Save. Your screen will look like this and display a link code to register to your DACboard.com account. For this reason, we recommend creating your account first before setting up your DACboard device. Log into your DACboard.com account and click on the Displays and Devices tab on the left-hand side of your screen. Click the green Add button. Give your new device a name. Type in the link code displayed. Assign the screen you want for it. Click Save and you are done.